Good day everyone, I'm Chelsea Castro and I'm a medical student. So I am back here at CSA. So it is the time or it is the week of the holiday. So alam po natin na very stressful ang week ng holiday before Christmas and of course yung before New Year. And you know, for three months, um, I've been uh, I've been having a very hectic schedule. Napapansin na sa face ko yung sleepless nights, nakikita na yung ebidensya. So, um, my eye bags are within an eye bag. So, yun, um, I'm needing help at the moment for a very refreshing holiday uh, galore. Ganyan. So, I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to pamper myself right now because I think I deserve it naman. Self-love nga, sabi nga nila, di ba? So yun, um, what we're going to do today is we're going to um, ask Doc, we're going to consult Doc um, what she can do for me to have a more refreshing, more enchanting looking eyes. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and comment down below if you have any questions regarding the procedure. Good day everyone! Welcome to the CSA Medical Aesthetics. Dr. Contessa here, your Certified Aesthetic Physician. In today's episode, we'll be doing an under-eye treatment. And let's all welcome back, Miss Chelsea. Hi everyone! Good day everyone! Yeah. So, mm -hmm. actually, Dr. Chelsea is here <laughs> for the under-eye concerns. Okay, since um, she's in med school, okay, Puyat, mm -hmm. lack of sleep, causing the sunken under eye or loss of volume under eye or some fine lines under the eye okay there you go or eye bag okay i was looking at you a while ago actually on the upper area of the infraorbital region or on the lower eyelid because we have the orbicularis muscle there or orbicularis oculi muscle there whenever you smile it contracts so there's this bulging of the muscle mm -hmm. and then beneath that uh, the so-called eye roll or the pretarsal roll beneath that there's this like small bulge also yes, this part so here I have that bulge this one here yeah so actually this part is where your eye bag is so superior to that is the so-called eye roll or pretarsal roll and beneath the pretarsal roll is the appearance of the eye bag. So when you say eye bag, so there's this orbital fat that we have in that region. And uh, as we age, or if there's a weakening of those, like the orbital retaining ligament or the orbicularis oculi muscle, then the orbital fat can bulge or it can, uh, for older people, they can herniate or they tend to go down or there's this so-called ptosis also of those tissues with the aging process with the uh, pull of gravity okay but for your case it's more of the uh, the lifestyle okay so lack of sleep or stress, um, stress okay mm -hmm. there you go so these are factors that can lead to the eye bag formation and aside from from that others have medical conditions or medications or any syndrome that could lead to the eye bug formation okay yeah so more of lifestyle for your case so for that of course we wanted to restore the strength of the skin collagen skin elastin we wanted to bring back the strength of the ligaments and the muscle as well so what we can do for uh, chelsea today we'll do of course for her age something that is safe and something that will also restore the skin's elasticity and somehow boost collagen there and fill in the so-called also aside from that eye bag the so-called tear trough here extending to the mid cheek group there so we wanted to do a treatment that will be somehow it has no downtime and will just improve the skin area under the eye okay for chelsea today 
we'll be doing the injection of our dermal filler or hyaluronic filler. We'll just restore that natural volume and skin's elasticity using our hyaluronic dermal filler, okay? So, we'll show them the actual treatment when CSA Medical Aesthetics returns. And we're back, so we'll do the under eye treatment using our hyaluronic dermal filler for Doc Chelsea. Okay, for our markings, okay, you can do like a diagonal line from the medial canthus following this mid cheek line here as your first line, and a second line is from the alar area towards the, the tragus part there. And then a vertical line from the lateral canthus towards the inferior line there. So the line that intersects this tree will be our entry point, okay? So we'll start working on the right side and I'll be using a cannula for my dermal filler. So we'll disinfect the entry point there and just make a tiny puncture point there. So just a tiny puncture. Okay, inhale, exhale. Just a minimal puncture. And then I'll be using my Bellotero Balance for my treatment of the under eye area. So the technique that I will be doing is the so-called panning technique. So for Chelsea, I'll start on the lateral canthus. So this is different from the traditional method that we've been doing before because initially we start on the medial canthus but for now let's start working on the lateral canthus okay it's a different approach right now so if you want to lift also the corner of the eye you can also inject filler there up to the lateral canthus so that will have that lifted eye area or the so-called happy eye okay and you can push your filler like a minimal amount there. You can use 0.1 to 0.2 in this section. So again, I'm using my Bellotero Balance for this under eye rejuvenation. Some cases, I start on the lateral canthus because I don't want to have too much of a filler in the medial aspect because some people tend to have this edema under the eye. So after you inject the dermal filler because it attracts water and then they'll have this bulge after the dermal filler injection. So what I do is I can start working on the side first and then going towards the middle. So for the second one, I'll be injecting filler here. It's like following the mid pupillary line. So I can insert like 0.1 to 0.2 again. So it's a case-to-case -case basis depending on the needed volume. Some will just need less of your filler just to give that right amount, right hydration. And then after this, I'll go to this middle aspect right now. So this time, we are doing a different approach. Instead of starting in the middle canthus area, we started on the lateral, from lateral going to the the medial aspect okay so minimal amount so for this third trap you just need very very tiny amount of your filler again do not overfill the under eye section so you will not create any bulge after this and for her we just use a minimal amount and my anatomical layer is submuscular and I'm now releasing or pulling out my cannula so that's for the right side do the jawline definition and for our sharp needle method you can make use of our gauge 29 needle from our rest lane and in doing the jawline area the goal is to highlight this angle okay and create that l-shaped appearance and a smooth jawline here now for our anatomical consideration okay we know that our 
facial artery comes out from the mandibular notch here so you can just palpate for the notch it's over here and the anterior aspect of the masseter can you bite please okay there's the anterior aspect that's where your facial artery would kind of pass through okay so it's gonna go towards the corner of the mouth there to give supply to the mouth region up to the corner of the nose and then the angular artery there so when you make your jawline injection using your filler so this is the blood vessel that you have to be very careful with and we know that we also have uh, the facial nerve that comes out from this area here anterior to the tragus so you have branches there so we are familiar with the five branchings of the facial nerve there and when we do our injection point using our sharp needle so our safe area is this section so we can make a marking of that one we can make a circle since we have a female client for female we wanted the width of the the jaw area to be still narrow okay for women what we need to do is inject posterior to the angle so that's for women so the posterior aspect but for men because we want them to have a wider face or like a masculine square shaped face we do it on this part here anterior to the angle but for women this is where we will inject posterior to the angle and when you inject a filler there the amount you can like uh, inject into the area is from 0.2 to a max of a 0.5 but for women we wanted as minimal as possible okay so we can disinfect the region clean the area and we use our restylane lift for this portion so we have to use high g prime dermal filler so again we go for the posterior aspect here okay. onto the bone once you feel the bone, then withdraw or aspirate and push a little bit. So, a point 0.2 is okay. So, actually, she felt some of the, because I kissed the bone, touched the bone, there's a normal sensation of like a discomfort there. So, pushing a little bit. So, you can push as much as point 0.2 on this part here. Just a minimal amount. So we're using a high G prime onto the bone. And there you go. And pull up. Let's proceed to the cannula method for our jawline definition using our wrestling lift. So again, for our landmarks, okay, palpate for the angle of the jaw. It's here. And then you can make a linear marking towards the mandibular line there. And then palpate for the uh, part here the ramus of the mandible so you can make your posterior vertical line here and then again for our vascular marking again palpate for the mandibular notch okay there it is and then that's where our facial artery comes out and it's going towards the mouth area and then up to the nasal area so usually it can really course this anterior border of the masseter. Bite, please. There you go. So, with anatomical variations, some could be a little bit straight like this or some can be diagonal like that. Okay? For our cannula method, okay, now, we wanted to also make the angle be defined. So, for our cannula method, we can have a single entry point here. And we'll do the linear retrograde technique. So towards the chin area and then towards the tragus area here. So if you wanted to have that L shape. So this will be our entry point, single entry point of our cannula. Okay, disinfect the area. So make your puncture at the angle of the jaw. Okay, puncture there. And then glide your 
cannula. So I'm using a gauge 25 cannula here. And then just glide onto the mandibular line there. So I still have a wrestling lip. So usually this is a subdermal plane. So just look for the space where you can glide your cannula there. So there you go. It's a linear retrograde technique and subdermal anatomical depth. So you can use actually gauge 23, gauge 25, gauge 27. So you have to be careful when you reach this area here. So we know we have the facial artery there. And it's on a deeper plane, deeper location there. So I said you have to be in the subdermal anatomical depth here. So you have to just glide. If you can reach the, if you have a longer cannula, you can even actually reach the jowl area there. So you're towards the jowl area and then you can push as much as like 0.2 to 0.3 to 0.5 max in this area. So there you go. I'm already gliding and pushing some of my thermal area. And we're back. We'll now show the result to Dr. Chelsea. Here's our mirror, Dr. So we did use a one syringe of our dermal hyaluronic filler using our Bellotero Balance and we use like half cc on each side. Okay, so I just did the cannula method and we started on the lateral cantus to give volume on this side and kind of give lifting on the medial aspect of the under eye or infraorbital region. So it's a reverse method that we've used today because before we've been starting with the medial aspect but today, we did start with the lateral aspect of the eye just to give that lifted effect and so that we don't have the side effect of the filler post-bulge because our hyaluronic dermal fillers attract water and after the treatment, like two weeks, they notice there's an increase in the size of the hyaluronic dermal filler because of the so-called water attraction. It's like creating that bulge post-dermal filler injection in the orbital area. Okay, Dr. Chelsea, comments? Um, so far, gusto ko po siya. So, um, I could see that there is this instant lift in my eye. So, it doesn't look... Uh, it it looks, a le it looks a little less tired. Yes, yeah. Yes, uh -huh. and so far, as Doc said, um, it, this is not the final effect of it. So, I still need to rehydrate myself in yeah. order for the filler to absorb more water so I know that it will improve in the yeah, next correct days to come. over time it's still gonna improve because it attra attracts water it's gonna hydrate the yeah. under eye region and for you not to look so tired yeah. or haggard yeah. Para fresh looking lang lagi, okay because right now mm -hmm. it's always the eye area that they see and mm -hmm. we have a lot of treatments area ng eyes <laughs> recently yeah yes, okay so happy for the result it's instant yeah. And no pain? No, it was no painless. Pain. <laughs> no anesthesia. <laughs> Actually, we didn't have any topical anesthetic cream. And so it's painless. It's instant. What else? Um, doc just put a little lang po. So yes, you know that you're not, you're not being overdone. Sa Correct. Yeah, it's important that you do not overfill the under eye region. So as not to affect or have the side effect of bulge under the treatment. So, no downtime. She still has a reporting in the university, <laughs> in the clinical rotations. <laughs> yes. Ayun. And daming benefits nito. And it's gonna you. give you that well hydrated under eye region, yeah. refreshed look. Refreshed, not, not look tired, not haggard. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Dr. Chelsea. Thank you, okay, I actually did a lot of treatments for Chelsea in the past. We also did like the definition of the angle of the jaw plus rejuvenation overall <laughs> skin regeneration yeah, so, so i'm alagang alagang csa po thank yes. you so much if you have any questions you may email us at csa skin clinic at yahoo.com our clinic is located at the infinity shop pulong maragul angeles city contact number 0933 and 0917 we have our fb page csa medical aesthetics instagram csa medical aesthetics dr chelsea your 
Instagram para if they have any question. Ah uh, yes, um you can follow me at in in Instagram Maiden Chelsea. Though, so that's M A D E C H E A L S E A on Instagram. Thank you. Yeah. Just ask her about the treatment, huh? <laughs> Not ask any other <laughs> topics. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and yes. other video episodes. You mga ginawa natin before. Yes. Just look at our Stay channel tuned, Contessa guys. Salvador so you can see what kinds of treatments, non-surgical mm -hmm. and enhancement procedures that we've done for Dr. Chelsea. Okay? Yes. God bless you all. When it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Medical Aesthetics. <laughs>